big explosion. Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today I'm doing a little bit of a special video. Now here in front of me for quite a long time I've been working on some hedgehog ships and I hadn't finished it, it was it was in a semi-complete state, it was a bit of an experiment as well to see what I could do and then sadly the other week my much loved hedgehog Harriet passed away. Um, she was a little pet, she was eight years old, we'd rescued her about two years ago and we'd, I'd, I'd known her for about two, three years and she, she, was, she was lovely, I have to say indeed. We've, we've got another hedgehog called Cookie and I thought it was about time that we built a hedgehog shaped ship. So let's have a look at the designs. Now with hedgehogs, when they are threatened, they push their spikes out and curl into a ball. Now I've tried a few different concepts to get this work. So I wanted to do this one. Originally the idea, let me just make sure I'm not flying a ship before I teleport anyone over to anywhere. So let's have a quick look at this one. So we've got the actual hedgehog shape face. So you can see we've got the two eyes, we've got the little sniffer nose, and we've got the big ears that they have to pick up all the sound in the night. So originally I wanted it to kind of fold around. So if I um, just go to my options, go to groups, and I think this one hasn't been grouped quite yet. So we've got spines and we just reverse the spines like that. So you can see what I was trying to do. I was trying to get it to curl into a ball, but there was a few issues with this original design. The main one being what I needed to do is stagger these blocks out. So instead of them being like this, they needed to be one block out so they slid over the top of each other. Something that I'm going to continue to work on because I'd really like to just build a normal ship as well that could fold up into a ball and maybe make some different shapes if necessary. It'd be quite cool. So let's go over to the Harriet Mark 1 design. So as she was taking shape, this was the main concept I was working with with these spikes. Now the reason these spikes are so important is I've seen it on both our multiplayer server and many servers out there is these blocks, the blast door blocks, on a little pillar like this cause some serious ramming damage. Now, I don't condone ramming damage, but I just wanted to show you how useful this could be. And, of course, it's not going to work on our server because we've got a uh, limit on rotors and uh, hinges. That's probably a good idea, to say the least. So, we've got the Mark 1. The Mark 1 has the lovely hinges rotating around, giving it protection. So, if you do ram these blocks, the Hedgehog itself doesn't take much damage. And at the current build with this Harriet model, she doesn't actually have any weapons or firepower. So, we've got to take that into consideration as we move. So, we've got the Mark 2, the one we're actually going to test out. So, to enter into the Harriet, you have a little mouth slot down here. You just pop yourself in. The actual mouth does lower up and down. I'll show you that in a moment. And we've got all the doors open for the moment. There's going to be a little bit more interior work to be done in here. But you can see a hydrogen tanks and a storage. She's quite a compact small ship. A lot of um, her internal workings are hidden. So as we pop in here, we have a few cool features. Now the first one I want to show you is her little mouth. So we've got the little mouth that would assist us in loading cargo bay. You can also munch on any of the food that she comes across. Oh, damn it. What have I done? Oh, misclick one of the buttons. No! I detached all of the... Right, I fixed her. I quickly fixed her. I reattached the, the hinges. Um, I accidentally hit button three. That's release all the spikes. That is, is not a feature that hedgehogs have. It's more of a porcupine, but we wanted to test it out. So let's give this thing a little bit of a test flight. So she's got a lot of thrust potential. Her gyroscopes allow her to roll. She is quite a maneuverable ship. But remember, she is packing quite a lot of weight with all of them blast door blocks on. This variant has wheels, and the reason this one has wheels are wheels are actually stronger than blast door blocks. So if we line her up, say for instance, this ship is, is threatening in her, and she doesn't like it. We hit button one, that extends all the spikes, yeah. <laughs> and then we thrust towards it. Maybe that ship's gunning at us, maybe it's not, I don't particularly know, but we give it a good ramming anyway. There we go, Get get in there. <laughs> So as you can see, we don't take too much damage ourselves, but we rip a giant hole in the enemy ship. So you can see Harriet hasn't really took much damage and she can fold the spikes away and fly off into the distance. A few spikes are lost and it looks like we've got some of the enemy ship trapped in. So let's just wiggle them bits out if we can. A little bit of smoke coming away. And of course, if the ship continued to pursue us, then we could also go into plan two. But the really scary factor of this little hedgehog type ship is the power it has. Now, if I go full thrust at that ship and I line it up correctly, I will cut that ship in two. Um, and I can probably do that with one, uh, maybe one or two passes. Uh, before, when we were doing it, we did it with one pass. Let's have a quick look. So we're going to aim a little bit more to this side of the ship. We're going to extend our spikes, and we are going to go full pelt at that enemy vessel. 
Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Glorious. We've actually got ourselves, I think, a little bit wedged inside here. And, of course, we can continue working up and down. And we're not taking too much damage ourselves, but that enemy ship is seriously going to get smashed up. We can also do a little bit of a wiggle, protect ourselves as we're going in, and continue using our spikes to disable that enemy vessel and stop it from attacking us. Of course, this is all part of a, a more defensive scenario. We've got all our spikes there intact. You can just see how well it's actually done to fend off that attack. Them little spikes overlapping each other and protecting us. That ship there has been ripped in two. Anyway, let's try a complete ship one straight ram up and see what happens. We're engaging, we're getting up to speed, we're getting as fast as we possibly can, and here we go. Oh, oh! I think we might have taken some damage there as well, but we have ripped that ship in too. If someone rammed into us hard enough, oh god, we've, we've taken quite a lot of damage ourselves. We might have to have a test around with the other prototype. Um, the wheel block seems to be doing quite a good job, but it's also nice to test out how the blast door blocks are working as well. One more test I want to do. I want to see what happens when we release Harriet spikes and uh, send them at the enemy. So let's reload this world. I'm going to reverse it up a little bit. We're in fact going to extend the spikes that we are going to thrust. And as we gain some speed, we are going to release the spikes. They're going straight up and cut a massive hole into that ship there, into the hull above, doing some serious damage. Obviously, that ship up there is Huskers. Huskers done a nice work on some of the DRF fleet. Now we're using some testing. And as we leave, we leave the decoy spikes in our path so we can escape. Well, obviously, the hedgehog's looking a little bit naked now since it lost all its spines, but it might buy it some time to get out of the area, especially anyone trying to navigate through the debris field that is left behind us. So that there is the little Harriet ship. I'm going to reload it one more time and we'll attempt to use the blast door variant. So now coming away from the wheeled one, we actually have this one that is pure blast door block. So there's three blast doors long on each spike. So we get in the same way. We'll pop our character into the middle here. And we're going to attempt to cut that ship in half once again. So we're going to come out a little bit of an angle this time. Let's see what we can do. Push the ship over to the side. Extend the spikes. This one worked slightly better. It's still got some issues to work out. I think the, thing, the things with ships like this is you're experimenting with a concept that probably won't be able to make it onto a server due to it being a little bit crazy. And oh, big explosion ship has been ripped apart. Harriet has taken some damage, of course. Oh, no, we're attached. We've got spikes stuck inside the ship. Let's see if we can flick it off. Wiggle our way out of there, Harriet. Come on. Okay, there we go. We have managed to leave that ship completely destroyed, and we're still functional. Yes, we do have a big hole inside us, and there is some engines, by the look of it, spinning around out of control. But there we have it. The Harriet Hedgehog ship. Now, please don't take the, the ramming potential away from this video. I mean, we, we don't like it in Space Engineers, do we? Um, but it was just a defensive method of using this particular ship. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with some lovely videos of Harriet the Hedgehog. Mm -hmm.